Have you been running ads on Facebook and driving people to mini chat where you're having a conversation with people? If so, Facebook has made some significant changes over the last few days and you're gonna need to know this, otherwise your ads are not gonna perform at the highest level and in fact, you might even hurt your ad account. So here's what you need to know about those changes. Hello and welcome, my name is Kevin Smolin with 2Q Lead Generation Strategies, that's the name of our channel. Uh, for those of you that are brand new, thank you, welcome to the channel. Um, and what we cover here is we help real estate agents uh, generate more leads for their business. We teach them a Facebook marketing system that will add two transactions to their production each month and take less than an hour of their time per week to do it. Um, today, what we're gonna be covering is a very significant change that Facebook has made um, just over the last few days, and it's had a significant impact on many of my clients in their ad account. And so today what we're recording is, you need to know what the update is, why it's an issue, and uh, furthermore, <laughs> what steps we're gonna be taking to correct that. Uh, so that's exactly what we're gonna be uh, covering on today's video, are those three things. What's the problem? how we address it, how we correct it, and why it's a problem. So with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and jump right in. We're gonna share my screen, um, and we're gonna jump right in. So if you've followed any of the videos, any of the training that I've done for, um, you know, for a period of time, then this is going to look familiar to you. So what you're seeing is a, a sample of an ad. And so uh, again, the strategy here is where we're using a listing to generate interest from potential buyers. And so we're withholding some information such as the price, the address, uh, and the rest of the photos as a way of getting them to engage with us. You'll notice that the call to action here is to leave a comment. And so what happens is when people come down here and they leave a comment, it triggers a series of messages saying, hey, here's the information you requested. Do you want to go see it? Do you want to look at other homes? And, and again, there's just a series of questions um, that happen based on whatever it is that you've programmed inside your uh, message bot mini chat. Now, this is um, kind of the mechanics of it, but anytime you run an ad with a post where you're asking people to leave a comment, Within the last few days, Facebook has been um, flagging those posts and sending people notifications in their ad account that uh, they're calling this a quote unquote negative experience for Facebook users. Okay, so obviously we need to sit and talk about what that is and why it's an issue. Um, and so let's do that. So there's this post right here um, and what it is is uh, it's Facebook's business section, the advertiser help, and it's talking about how to avoid creating negative experiences for people who see your ads. So there's some attributes here of low quality landing pages, um, nothing here that's going to shock you, right? If they lack substantive or original content, if there's a high volume of ads relative to the content, pop-ups, um, unusual, you know, unexpected content experience. I would suspect most of you, if not all of you, uh, don't have an issue with any of these. Same with uh, sexually suggestive or shocking content. <laughs> Hopefully that's not a problem for you. Uh, or malicious or deceptive ads. Again, I don't think most of you are engaging in that either. So those aren't really the issues. But then they start giving some attributes of low, low quality content. And this is where some of the posts that we've been doing fall into some scrutiny and why they're getting flagged and why you're getting less results. So the first example that it gives is ads that purposely withhold information and entice someone to click on a link in order, in order to understand the full context of something. Um, so you can see here it's very vague and you have to go to this website and click on it to go get more information. Um, I would suspect if you're following what I teach, none of you are doing this, so I'm not worried about that. Uh, the second one, sensationalism includes using exaggerated headlines or commanding a reaction from people to a degree that creates an unexpected experience when people click to a landing page. So again, I would suspect most of you are also not guilty of sensationalism, right? Um, that's just not really the, the way that I teach people to market. It's probably not what most of you are doing. So again, this is also not us. Now, the third example is where um, if you're following what I've taught, then um, it does fall into this category. And although <laughs> I've been running templates of this ad for probably close to a year and never had anything flagged, um, within the last week, um, it's happening across the board. All my clients are getting flagged for this. And so we wanna make sure that we take steps to correct it. So this is what they call engagement bait. It says engagement bait is when an ad uses spammy content that urges people to engage with it in an inauthentic way, that's the key 
to get more likes, comments, and shares. Okay, so in order to understand why um, engagement bait is a problem, you have to understand the way the Facebook system works. So you've probably heard me talk about um, the Facebook algorithm. You've probably heard other people talk about it, but it's that formula for determining how Facebook puts content in front of people. Um, you know, it's based on the things that they engage with, the people that they have relationships with, um, their demographics, the things that they search for. There's lots of factors in it. But one of the factors that also calculates into the, um, into the algorithm is what they call an engagement score. So again, engagement is defined as likes, comments, and shares. And so if people are asking others to like, comment, or share a post, the more likes, comments, and shares you have, Facebook actually in increases how many people see that post organically because Facebook perceives it as quote unquote great content that lots of people are liking it. Lots of people are talking about it. And so they're going to show it to more people. And so when people do things like this, like the post, if you're an Aries or love it, if you're a Leo or comment, yes, if you like music as much as we do, the problem is, is again, these are inauthentic. Now I would make an argument for this post that we're doing something authentic. We're going to send them information that they request and the comment just happens to be the trigger. Now, I would say that it's different than what this is, but it doesn't matter what I say because Facebook's still flagging them, right? So the problem is you're asking people to leave a comment and Facebook perceives that as engagement bait. You're asking people to improve this post, um, the, the, the engagement score of this post without people actually um, doing it of their own volition just because they like it, right? So that's the major problem. Anytime you're asking someone to like, comment, share, tag. If you're asking them to do any of those things that manipulate the uh, Facebook algorithm, then you're going to be flagged every single time that you do it. So basically what we need to do is we need to work around it. Okay. So a couple ways that we can do that. Um, the first way that we can do it is inside many chat, what's, what's flagging these, um, the tool that we've been using to get the mini chat system going is over here in the growth tools when we would set up a new one, um, Facebook comments was the trigger that was triggering that mini chat sequence. Okay, that's the one that most of you have been doing, especially if you're following what I've, what I've taught you. So what we're, what we're going to do in this case is we're going to change. Um, I'm going to show you in this video how to set up a, uh, a JSON message post. Okay, because the JSON message post is going to be something that would be very different. It's a different trigger. And because it's a message, it doesn't influence the Facebook algorithm and it falls right in line with their advertising um, components. So I'm just going to come up here to the top and I'm going to name it my JSON demo. And you can see right here that there is a Facebook ads JSON um, growth tool. So you also notice that you have to have a pro account to do this. So you're going to need to have a pro account inside ManyChat. Unless you have more than 500 subscribers in your ManyChat system, um, this is going to cost you 10 bucks a month to have a pro account. So again, it's not very expensive. It's a very inexpensive fix to this problem, but it does alleviate the problem completely. So with the pro account, I'm going to go ahead and set up a JSON um, ads post. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is I'm not worried about any about creating the message. I'm going to assume that all of you know how to edit your opt-in message, create a flow. That's not the purpose of this video. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Okay. Just for the purposes of this demo. And then you'll notice here on the setup that there's some code that uh, unless you're a programmer, this doesn't look like much to you, um, <laughs> but it does to Facebook and to programmers. And so um, with this code, that's everything that you're going to need to set up your flow. So what we would do is we would come to the ads manager. Um, I'm going to start over with a brand new, in fact, I'm just going to refresh it. Um, we're just going to do a brand new ad starting from scratch. So when you're doing this, the style of ad that you want is a Facebook message ad. So a lot of times we were doing engagement to get people to, uh, to comment or to, uh, to leave a comment to trigger that whole process. Um, in this case, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing this bottom one right here, which is messages, right? So the message is what's going to trigger the, uh, the process. So again, call it whatever you would want for your normal ad. 
then what we would do is continue. Message destination, we want click to messenger as soon as this loads. So click to messenger is what we want. It's gonna to default to that. Audience, you would go ahead and target whoever you wanted to target. I'm not worried about it for the purposes of what I'm showing you. Um, down here, we would normally edit placements. Again, we would have it show in the feed section on Facebook because that's where we want it to be. And then down here for budget and schedule, again, I'm not worried about it because this isn't a real ad. Um, and then continue to get to this final section. Now, I'm going to create an ad. I'm gonna have it uh, be tied to my page. And uh, I'm going to do, um, we'll just do a single image. And so you can either upload an image or do stock ones. So I'm just gonna upload this image. And so there's the image that I've uploaded that it's using for the ad as soon as it finishes loading. There we go. And then down here in the text, um, again, I'm just gonna copy this text for the post. So you would just simply do something like this. Um, and then your headline would be something like, send us a message to view the info or whatever, right? Uh, to view the home info, that would be better. Okay, here's what that ad's gonna look like in the, uh, in a mobile feed, I'm not worried about it. So the call to action is send a message. That's what's gonna trigger this. And then down here in the messenger setup, this is where we're gonna use the JSON. So we are going to click on a custom template, create new, and we're gonna click this option that says JSON. And so then what we do is we're gonna pop over here, copy code to clipboard. So we just copied all of that. And then in here, I am going to delete all of that. There we go. So with everything deleted, I am then going to paste that code. Right? And you can see that this is the code that we had set up for that, uh, that message, right? And so with that, I've now got my JSON message uh, all set up. And then what I would do is I would just simply hit confirm. So now what's gonna happen is the trigger for people is sending a message um, on Facebook rather than asking them to like, comment, share, anything like that, where it's gonna trigger that, um, that ad to be rejected. So with this, your ad is going to be approved. It will be shown to the normal amount of people as it should, um, and that's gonna be the better way of setting this up. The other fix, the other alternative, is rather than asking people to leave a comment like we are here, the other thing that you can do is ask people a question. And as they respond to the question, again, rather than asking them to leave a comment, you can just say, hey, answer the question below, because that's not using like, comment, or share. Uh, answer the question below and we'll send you the information. So it could even be something on, you know, something as simple as, would you like to receive information on the home? They can just come down here and put yes. And then that would still trigger the process with the Facebook comments if you want to keep doing it that way. But don't ask them to leave a comment. Don't ask them to like it. Don't ask them to share it because then your post is going to get uh, tagged um, or your ad is going to get flagged as a violation of the negative user experience. It's going to hurt your ad account and then it'll take a little bit of time to rebuild um, that reputation so that Facebook is giving you the maximum benefit with your ads. So again, these are the two major ways to fix the problem. So number one is if you want to keep doing what you're doing, go for it. But instead of asking them to leave a comment, you would change it to where you're asking them a question and having the answer in the comments right? But just don't ask them to like, comment, or share. That's going to flag it every single time. The other thing that you can do, like, I, like I've shown you, is you can go inside your mini chat account, set up a JSON, J-S-O-N, inside the growth tools, and that's how you can do it. You do need a pro account to do it, so I'm going to show you super quick how to uh, get a pro account. So you're going to come over here into settings. You're going to go to your billing, and then um, there's an option where you'll be able to click on a button and set up your billing. Obviously, I've got a pro account, so that's already set up. 
Um, but that's where you would go ahead and set this up. So that's the way that you can do this um, is setting up your JSON tool. And that's the way that you're going to be able to get around this problem, still have your ads going out to the maximum amount of people, still having the conversation handled through many chat. We just simply use a different trigger rather than the Facebook comments tool, which in this case is the JSON. So that is today's video training on how to make sure you're getting maximum uh, benefit from your ads using many chat so that it's not a negative experience. Um, as always, if you like this video, um, give us a like. That always helps us. Uh, also, make sure you subscribe. That way you continue to get timely videos like this one. I mean, this one is uh, a change that's only happened in the last couple days, and it's a major one that's impacting many of my clients, which is why I wanted to record a video um, today. Um, as soon as I've seen multiple of my clients' accounts and uh, seen what they're facing. So this is the way that we fix that. Again, subscribe, uh, click on the little bell for notifications. That way you'll get notified every time we publish new content like this. Um, also, leave us a comment down below. Tell us how you're getting around this, what you're seeing inside your ad account. Again, I'll comment. There's, all, there's uh, lots of people in this community that uh, will share their insights as well. And so that's one of the best ways to uh, help and be helped, which is perfect. So with that, thanks for watching. Uh, make it a great week and uh, we will talk to you soon. Um, I'm going to put a couple links down below. So I'm going to put a link to this um, in the description. So the advertiser help post so that you can read that. Um, I'm also going to put a link to our free Facebook lead generation course to our four step strategy of how you can be generating more transactions using Facebook. And then uh, I'll also put a link to our paid program, our uh, revolutionary agent where we're helping agents and uh, showing them the step by steps of how to do everything so that they can market their business and be the leader in their community on Facebook. So again, I'll put those in the description. Uh, thanks. Make it a great week and we will talk to you soon. Take care.